Hello viewers and welcome to 1 to 10, the beer reviewing show where we review a beer after one beer and then, and then again after 10. I'm gonna kill you guys. I'm Daniel Thompson. Mark Hughes. And today we're reviewing Glasgow's finest tenants. Or that we're aware of. Maybe they have finer beers. They Probably not though, it's Glasgow. Ah! Every time, every yeah. time I love the sound. I thought you hurt yourself there. Oh yeah. That takes me back. That is some lukewarm beer right there. We yeah. like tenants. That's we do. I, I will say um, that. This was a, like a very cheap and available beer, uh, just generally in our youth of drinking. Mm. Also nice. today, we only spent a euro a can. Yeah. And as we've learned on this show, you do not go below a euro a can or bad things. <coughs> no, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. First flavor kind of introductions is is you can definitely taste the wraths that they allow swim in there. Thanks. <laughs> it adds the flavor. You can taste the bubonic plague. It really gives it that. There is like a little thing to tenants. Oh. There's a tang. There's a tang. The tenant's tang. The tenant's tang. I kind of like the tang because you, just in the generally in the cheap beer we're drinking, like a lot of the ones about was like, kind of just tastes like sparkling water. Yeah. With a very slight beer flavour. At least tenant's has it, the... It's, yeah, it's the Pratsky thing. At least it has flavour. It is flavour, yeah, which is super important for drinking a beer. And particularly if you're drinking a lot of a beer, like you want something to be... Yeah, I think as well for drinking lukewarm, yeah. tenants is actually fine to drink. It's tenons, absolutely grand. Which can be a very important consideration on buying cans. We may put one on the uh, radiator and try it that way, because lukewarm is fine, but how, or we how extreme does it go? put one in a pot, boil it down, reduce it to a syrup, spread it on toast. Does it work? Or reduce it to dust, do lines of tenants, like tenants does, and yeah. see how that makes us feel. I mean, that's what Nicola Sturgeon does to get up in the morning. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't well. say it's a very fizzy beer. I love Tenants. Tenants are very good to me, but it's not a very good beer. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hop in there. I don't really care about Tenants, so I don't mind saying that I'm gonna give this straight away 4 out of 10. I think it's below average and I'd rather not have it. Someone's like, oh, do you want a Tenants? I'll be like, any Dutch Gold, any Bavaria, any Pratsky, yeah. anything else, then maybe I'll take it. In fairness, if someone gave me a Tenants, I'd still be like, yeah, give me that, whatever, no problem. But yeah. like, if I had any choice, no. I think I think that's for me yeah. is that's what because I'm gonna give it a four out of ten as well, <sighs> and that makes me sad. But I think that's what four out of ten is for. Is like mm. I'd rather not. I'd rather something else. But if it's there, I'll definitely drink it. If you're drinking tenants, it's probably quantity over quality. Yeah, I don't think anyone so is like having that. a boutique. Yeah, you're not having like a sip of your tenants. Their steak tartare. Yeah, and then review it. Viewers, you've been asking for us to record our hangovers, and every week we're like, we're definitely gonna do it. And every week we're hungover, we're, we're like, fuck that, no, I'm not no. doing that. So tomorrow we're going to try, um, and by that I mean me and Mark are going to just get into bed and hold a camera near our faces <laughs> and get at folks and be like, are you okay? I'm not okay. And that's all you're getting. We were talking about what's the worst hangover that we've had on the show, considering we haven't been recording our hangovers. Mm. And for me, it was 100% Galad. I think I had great fun doing Galad, because I don't remember doing Galad, but... Oh my god, I was completely inoperational for the first day, second day was bad, and I was getting migraines for like two weeks after it. Like, it mm. fucked something up inside me. Something died. Something that I need to live was slain by the night of Galahad. <laughs> yeah, no, Galahad was, I think, possibly the same for me. Skullability. There's our third can. Here we go. We crack it, sit it for a few seconds, and then go for it. Look, I don't think. It's Start the timer. This is not going to be a good one. It'll take as long as it takes. Alright. Oh god. <sighs> it's horrible. <coughs> Do you remember when Aragorn well, was like, look warm tenants. do you remember Aragorn was like, there will be a day when the strength of men fails? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that day. day. I always get that wind shit going on. And it's not even that fizzy. It's up here. It's like it's all like the here, fucking yeah. bubbles just sit up at the top of your belly. It's really hard to get oh. anything else into it. Your body's like slow down until that comes out. Maybe we should do a little back right. rub for each other. Just a little. Because <laughs> you got to get that out. It's in the way. Ah, you give your rating. Ah, sorry. Ah, it was fucking awful. Uh, it took three attempts there for me. I can't even spell it. Um, I will give it. Um, I suppose five. Like it wasn't. It wasn't awful. Like I thought it was gonna be worse Pitch than it was. Time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
121, that's shocking. Yeah. It's not, I don't like feeling my organs when I'm drinking a beer. I felt my organs when I was <laughs> drinking the can of donuts there. I'm not gonna skull the rest of this. I've... You absolute bitch. No, oh, you are skull. Fuck you! Let's go. Chug, 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 you need to sofa for your heart, alright? Oh like, I don't know. This back rubs. I need the back rubs. <laughs> burp has to come up. Because if I get this burp up, I'll do it. Come up. I feel like a baby again. <laughs> I'm also gonna get sick. Like, this is terrible. I really hope this results in projectiles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> Straight to the camera, tell me how you feel. <laughs> Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. That was awful. I'm gonna take a little bathroom visit. If I get sick, I'll let you know. Okay. Can we get filler music here? Maybe. Just me sitting alone being like, I love as long as I find you. Danny will be back. Are we tell him how long it takes for him to come back. <laughs> what if he just doesn't come back? That's the end of the show. I'll be here anyway. Fuck it. I know what you're waiting for. I know what you want to hear. But it didn't happen. I didn't get sick, and I didn't flush the toilet to prove that I did not get sick in that you toilet. You shit blood, though. But we don't keep a blood shit tally, so that doesn't count. New tally. Blood shits. Blood shits. <laughs> <laughs> so, I do have a nostalgic relationship to tenants with my friend John Hand, where we would bet each other six packs. Um, and that would be the next person who buys our six pack and then we'd split them. And I, I have to say, it's a really good thing to do with your mates. Just make small nonsense bets about who buys the next six pack and then just split them with the person anyway. So what I will say is there was a whole summer during college where we drank basically exclusively tenants. Um, and we used to hang out on top of a reservoir in a tiny little village I grew up in. And I'm going to put a link in the description below of uh, us having a jam session on top of that reservoir. I'm fat. I was fat back then. I was a fat person. Quit bragging. Um, yeah, I, I do look back at that and be like, I had a girlfriend. Look how fat I was. What was she doing? She should have made better decisions. She'll be chasing. And then, <laughs> and then she did make a better decision, and I haven't seen her since. But yeah, we often talk about bottles versus cans versus draft. I don't believe tenants bottles as tenants. I've never seen a bottle of tenants in my life. I don't think it exists. If I walked into a boat and they had tenants on draft, I'd probably this is a terrible boat. Drink that. <laughs> this is probably a terrible boat. Yeah, well they could have had very on top and they don't have it. It's awful. Actually what I will say, the one feather in the cap of tenants I will say is they had in the college I went to DKIT, whoop whoop. Um, they had tenants on draft for three quid, and they had carling for two eighty. And I was very poor at the time, but I still drank tenants because carling is the worst slightly. Here's better. an interesting story that probably won't make the cut. My mother was saying to me at one point that a uh, standard period pad can hold when you need to be, and it's like, ma'am, I don't believe that at all. I don't think it's that absorbent. She's like, no, it's grand. I was like, right. So you can piss on the pads so you don't want to go to the jacks, that's what you're saying. That's what my mum was saying, and I was like, I don't believe that at all. So I took a pad and stuck it to the bathroom tub. I pissed in an empty jar, and my sister was there, and then we had this jar of piss, and we were like, right, let's Why see. Why was your sister there? That Cause, was the cause she didn't believe her either. So we poured this jar of piss onto like this menstrual pad, and let me tell you, uh, it cannot absorb. Uh, full human piss, and my mother's. I never shit. thought it did. <laughs> I never, like, I don't well, I've done the science. Room, I don't think anyone in this room was like, oh yeah, full piss definitely goes into a maxi pad. Mark Hughes, bang for buck. Tell the people at home how you feel. Big bag of shite. Uh, I wouldn't drink this if it was the last thing in the world, but I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Because it's value. Look well, at that value. Look at that quid for a can. A quid, quid for, for a can. can. Quit for a can. I know you saw it earlier on. We didn't enjoy the I can. don't think... Doesn't matter. I got, yeah. I got a six pack for six quid. I don't think... It, that's Six fine. pack for six quid. You can't give less than a six out of ten. No! It's that's like above a average. That is like excellent. Fucking brownie points too. Cool. I would score it higher, but it was just... It was very nice. <laughs> 
I'm having such good buzz that it's like, we'll see where we am at 10 for wow factor, but I'm gonna kind of include my wow factor into this six that I'm going to give it a seven. Seven out of 10 for six okay. pack. One, because it's Euro can. And Euro can is a great deal. You can't debate that logic, though. No, and two, I'm on a really good buzz so I'm gonna feel that. I feel like a lot of the terrible flavor is faded off. How are you feeling about the terrible flavor? I feel like that's mostly gone. You can't taste it when you're drunk, so it's fine. Hi viewers, um, we've just finished Can 8, which is usually our marketing can. Mark has had a can, so he's become a massive dildo and a good old uh, stick in the spoke of this show. The dick, dick agree, disagree. <laughs> dick agree. <laughs> Yeah, you're being a dick. So, let's have a look at this can. So it's a yellow can, which definitely stands out, mm. as cans go. Uh, it's got a little fizz at the top, like it's trying to pretend to be a pint. I yeah. think that's the jam of tenants. I don't think it's an accident. <laughs> so what I do actually like about the tenants can is they give you the history of tenants on the back of it. Um, and there's not a mention of slavery, so that's pretty good. I don't think there was a lot of slavery in Scotland. I'm not saying there was no slavery in Scotland. I don't think there was a lot. I think the yellow was eye-grabbing. The red tea is iconic. Oh, gotcha. Um, You'd almost get a tattoo of this John Han specifically. Like, John Han would do this. Like. So, ladies and germs, here is a St. Andrew's Cross on what was a shortbread biscuit tin. Can I see that? Oh, that's sad. Mark uses on his last sippity sup of his 10th can, mm -hmm. so he'll be able to give you his 10 can rating and also his wow factor rating. Mm -hmm. um, I am still about half a can to go. Uh, so, wow factor rating. Okay, so I will give it a 6. So, so. Well, I, don't, uh, I don't feel that fun. I think it was like. I'm feeling so like, bad for tenants that when we're drunk we give much less representation ratings to other beer. <laughs> yeah, but like it's. Tenants is a symptom of how good we've gotten at this show. Yeah, I think we've yeah we've learned how to actually try to review a beer, and I'll give it like it's slightly above average for like a wife like so it's like yeah this is grand it's like it's not it's not complete poison. I'm trying to get and it's been done now. I guess a ten of ten is pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna give it higher than I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it higher than the wife I do. So I will give it like let's say seven. 7 out of ten Fair. for like so two points above drink, the average. Yeah, I'm gonna drink ten of something. I would not go out of my way to drink tenants. I don't think it's the worst thing to drink tenants. Yeah. I think it's actually very or very doable and relatively enjoyable to do. Hey, here's a funny thing about like being this far into this show. Oh. Show. Go on. Hey, go to Kenny. But <sighs> that's hot. Uh, let's listen to this. But know. so what I will say is. The 10 can rating has become the average of our 10 can rating has been like 7 or 8 mm. because we enjoy drinking 10 yeah. cans. The average and is hard to not review. Five. Like, it's hard to when you're on 5 the, becomes uh, a terrible rating at Yeah, at cans. that kind of height, yeah. <clears throat> because drink, drink so much. I'm sorry, reviewers, I'm going to definitely be <laughs> going my way through. My main criticism <laughs> of tenants is. That it isn't Dutch gold, and I think for the price range, you could have Dutch gold instead of tenants. It's not for your account. As I would say, I've just finished my tenth can. I would like to thank thank tenants for providing this brandy glassware. Mm. Let's look at this shit. Oh shit! Don't let them oh, yeah. see it. Oh, oh, oh! What's happening? They'll retract their oh, funding. I know. I'm pouring Dutch gold into oh. a tenants glass. Oh, what? they'll oh, retract their funding. Oh, it's so much. Look at how nicer it is. Oh, look at how handsome Don't it. Look at it. it. Look at the tastiness of this pint. Look at that. Your scope through and through, Marcus. What I'm going to say in terms of my rating is, for my tank on rating, I'm going to give this a 7. This is something you could definitely drink 10 of. You can definitely get those into your body. Well factor rating, though. The what? Factor rating though, I am going to give a 8 out of 10 because I'm feeling very fun, very funky. I'm having a really good time on 10 tenants. I don't think it's easy to drink 10 tenants. I think it's the best way you can drink 10 tenants of. But I am having a very fun vibe, vibe on, so I'm going to give 8 out of 10. I'm sorry about the hiccups, and I can do about that.
of it is. Uh, so it's viewers, if you are Take one of our supporters, our Patreon in the description below, you will be able to vote on future beers or future styles of beer. If you want to be a part of how this show happens, be one of our Patreons. It starts on a Euro an episode. Which is two episodes. And only get, get if you want to give us more, that's up to you. And you'll be part of our voting republic for our behind only the only scenes stuff and also for our polls in the future of the beers we drink. <laughs> Mark Hughes is a dickhead. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. So, for the viewers at home, how we're going to rate the hangovers is the worse it is, the higher the number. And mm -hmm. so that way you can subtract it from whatever score we gave the beer previously to see is it worth drinking the beer. I'm a little bit hungover this morning. It's not too bad. Um, I've had worse hangovers. I've had easier hangovers to deal with. I'm a little less hungover than I would expect to be drinking 10 cans, so I'm gonna give this a three out of 10. That's what three out of 10, okay. okay. Um, what you said about the hangovers and stuff. Uh, so subtract, well, subtract the score from the totals that we had. I'm feeling okay, like I feel a little bit um, rumbly in the belly, but not like I'm gonna get sick, just that kind of weird heavy feeling you have after drinking too many cans. Um, so all things considered, I'll go for what, like, four? Less than average? Four seems fine. Yeah, four, four seems grand. fair. Um, I did manage to not stop at ten once again though, so I did have eleven cans, <laughs> maybe, if I stopped at ten. Maybe, maybe it would have been a three maybe, out of ten if you had the ten out of eleven. Just know, know, your, know your limits of excess, <laughs> your excessive limits. That's all I have to say.